I made this ballet bar, and if I had known some years ago, I would have made one from years ago, and I, because they're quite costly. So I'm going to show you how I started. Actually, at first, this was really long. It was a 10-foot bar because they sell these PVC pipes in, in um, Home Depot, and I wanted it long. I actually liked it long, but I'm not sure. I know, I, I'm assuming that there's different, um, materials of PVCs, right? Because they have the metal ones and all that stuff. I should have gotten the metal because it was more sturdy. So the 10 feet, when it was 10 feet long, it was bending down like it was, whatever you call this. It was so, I couldn't find any, anything in the store to like clamp it and, you know, to keep these two from moving. Because this is for the babies and this is for teenagers and adults. So let me show you what you need. You need if you just want this size, this is five foot, it's going to be longer in Home Depot. They'll cut it for you or they actually have this tool, which I had used it there and had cut it when I had cut some of the pieces when I was there. Then you need elbows. Oh, oh this is, this is a one inch diameter. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly. You guys know that word. Um, you can, you should even go one and a quarter. I wouldn't go behind lower than one and a half or one inch. Then you have what we call T's. These are T's. And the T's oh, is what is on this corner here, connecting. Now, this is like before because I want two. If I didn't want two of these, I wouldn't need a T here, right? And so I have T on this side, a T on that side. These are, when you get these, this is how you find out. You go on here, you look on here, and they'll show you what size. This says one inch. It's hard to see, but this is a, a one inch T, 90 90 degrees, I believe this is. It, it is, says 90. Sometimes it doesn't even say 90. Just don't get anything that says 45. It says something that says 40, but it doesn't mean degrees. It means the 90. Then you need, so you need, if you're doing this one, you need one, two, three, four, five. Five. No. One, two, three, four. You need four. I'm sorry. Then you need another 90 degree, but elbows. It looks like an elbow, right? And it has to say one, one inch also. It has to say one inch because this is one inch. If I had gotten a one and a quarter, one and a half pole, these things would have to say the same thing. It's written on there, okay? And these go, as you can see on the corner here, one, two. You need a total of six because the elbows are the feet, basically, on there. And now this, I cut, this is 10 inch. I cut one, two, ten inches, take that out of the way, three, four, ten inches, this is eight inches, this is perfect for in between here, eight inches, okay, this is 26 inches, okay, uh, maybe I'll write that all down. so anyhow, like I said, it was very long, and I need to cut it down, and because I already brought it home, and it was wobbly, I'm cutting it down myself. Um, this is not a saw. I don't know what it's called. John has it in the house, but it saw stuff. It actually saws metals. It's coming up pretty good and it's not cutting straight, but it's okay. It's pushing through. So I'm going to continue to cut this. I have on my gloves that keeps my fingers like it doesn't touch me so, I'm, so it doesn't come through and cut me. Always have, and I shouldn't have on glasses or anything spilling, um, you know, going across, and we have a whole bunch of them, I just, now, safety man is coming in, John, when he sees me doing this watch, he's going to say something, because he's a safety site manager in construction, and he sees me, he's going to say something, you're on tape, John, so whatever you say, be nice, I'm videotaping, because I don't have on my safety goggles, he's going to come in, but his face, you're going to be nice, I'm no. always nice, okay, because you're going to say, because I don't have safety, Safety goggles on. You want to get in the camera? Let them see. No, no need safety goggles on. I don't need that. Okay. So oh, I'm you cutting it. You I'm cutting it. I got it. I found it. I'm good. Look at this. You found my tool. I found your tool, bro. Okay. I cut that. Okay. So these are now going to be the second bar because I'm making a second one. Two of these. Caroline's upset. She feels I'm too long. I'm not going to show you guys all the rest. I'm, go I'm going to pause and do the second video. I'm going to cut these down so I can get this 26 inch. Um, you should I'm going to cut my camera thing upstairs and set it up for oh. the free help. Okay, it's all right. And I'm going to cut these down. And I'm going to show you guys how we put it together. 
You can actually just hit pause and not stop. Thank you. Okay, here's the finished product. I mean, my finishing sewing. Just want to let you know the legs, like I was saying, because I cut it again at home. The legs are supposed to be 10 on each side. And because I didn't want to go back to Home Depot, I just used what I had here. So I, I had so many extra pieces left. And these measure eight and a half. Um, I tried it when I was putting it together before and it's no big deal, it's still good. It just won't be, you know, as wide out there, which actually I prefer because these things you gotta be careful, you trip over them, you know, dancers have to watch out. So let me show you how I put it together. So I'm going to start with a T, because it looks like a T, right? The hole and two holes here. Remember, this is a one inch because these things are one inch long. So I just put one in on each side. This is really quick and easy. If you have, I think it's called a mallet. I'm not sure. It looks like a hammer. Um, I don't have one. So John was saying that I just can't use a hammer because it could break it. So we have to, I have to put cloth over here and then put it in because I want it to hold tight. I'm taking this to the school later for dance class. But what's great about it is that it, it comes off easily. So I can um, put it together there. So I'm going to put the, the middle part stays up. I'm going to now take two elbows and put them on each end. Same that in there. Get that in there. Where's the rest of my elbows? Hold on. Elbows are here. Remember, they're 90 degrees. Elbows and T, 90 degrees. And I put the elbow there. This is the foot. This is when it ends. And I just have to adjust just to turn it to make sure it sit flat. And that's up there. Okay, let's move you. Put me over there. Then we're going to do the other side as well. Take the T, put it in one side, put the other T, I mean the other pole. Remember, this should be 10, but it's eight and a half. Okay, but that's okay, like I said. Put an elbow on, put that in, see how quick this is. That's the other side. Okay, now, I will tell you one thing that you need to make sure is the proper size. It's the height of the bar. Because when you're dancing, right, if I'm with the bar right here, I can't have, the, if this bar was any higher, this would be a problem because in dance, our shoulder is not supposed to be up. So if, if even if I wasn't doing the second bar for children, you know, um, five and under, I'm not even sure if this is still too high. This whole thing, if this was not here and it was just a top bar, this whole thing, because this is 26 inches, this is an eight inch in between. So 26 and eight is 34. So this whole thing should not be more than 34 inches long, whether it's, this is here or not, okay? So next thing, we're going to take, uh, oh, make sure you always put your tool to the side and put that saw so you don't get cut. And now this is the 26, yeah, this is the 26. I'm going to put it in here. And remember, I cut it and it's not even even here, but it's okay. And like I said, if you decide to do a metal one, Home Depot will cut, will cut anything for you for free. That's what they're there for, okay? To help people. And I'm just going to, tw I'm just twisting the, the elbow so that this thing sits properly. And sometimes you might need another person so the stuff doesn't fall. Hopefully this doesn't fall while I'm showing you guys. And like I said, I'm going to use a hammer. Stuff the two ends. Don't fall, please. I'm going to just put you up here. Lean you on something. Come on. Uh, when I was doing it somewhat, John helped me the other day holding it, but I also at one point put a big uh, book bag there to stop it from falling. Okay, now I'm going to connect the second bar, which I'm going to take another T, and I'm going to put it on top here, and now the T goes with obviously the hole here and this part sticking out like that, okay? I do the same with the other side. Remember, these are one inch because this is one inch diameter. Diameter, sorry. Okay. Put that there. Okay, stay there. Honestly, I always wanted to build when um I was in college. I didn't think about it back then, but I wish I had gone to school to be an architect because that's my 
ultimate, one of my ultimate dreams. Like dancing is everything to me. But if I could dance and build, you don't know how happy I would be. So that's this part. I put this 20. This is the this is five feet. Remember, this is five feet because it was 10 and I cut it down. Then I put the next section on, which is I put the what is this again? I told you guys. This is eight, right? This is supposed to be eight. And two of them I put one here. Put one on this side. Sorry for the long video, but you dancers need to know. And I'm going to put the elbow. Oh, my knee I'm on this wood floor. Elbow here. I'm going as fast as I can. See how simple this is? This looks like a ship. Like, what's that thing? The submarine or something like that? So put this in here. Don't move. Get in there. Come on, get in, baby. Uh, come on, don't come out because I didn't even push that one in good enough. Put that in there. And now I have two dance bars. I wish you guys could see me. Camera's kind of low. So I can do, we can do our plies and all that stuff. The only thing like with this, because see how this is shaky and it's because of the material or I'm not the lady I was watching drop that all down um she said a particular type of PVC um pipe and I'm not sure if I got the right one because maybe the one she said didn't have this bending you know I know all material I'm assuming I'm not I don't know anything that there's always a bend even when you're on a balcony there's a bend there's a reason why things um they actually move so that it doesn't break. But this particular bar, I don't think we can put our feet on here to stretch because it might not stay. I'm not sure. I just have to hammer this in. But that's the video, guys. And um, go ahead, make one for yourself, for your child at home who loves ballet. Uh, if this is too big for your little girl who wants to just do something at home. So if this is five feet, how about make this um six feet? six feet across remember it doesn't matter how long this is all of these will stay the same okay this is adult size up here the other size for children so if you if it's just for your child uh remember this would be about 26 inches but so like i said it's only this that changes how long how many dancers because on this one i can fit two dancers on this side and two dancers on that side so when I have dance class, I only can fit eight people on a ballet bar. God bless you guys. Off. Oh.